you guys. Hey, hey, look who it is. St. Matthew's newest manager of occupational therapy. Yay. You got the promotion. Way to go, babe. I have absolutely no idea what it is you do, but whatever it is, I'm sure you deserve it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Speech, speech, speech. Speech. Oh, wow, you guys. I'm trying to bond with you, man. Why you keep pushing me away? Hey. Hey. hey well, uh, how is she doing? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you, kid. She still hasn't brushed her teeth, and she's asking for you. Awesome. Hey, Bowie. Hey, Jess. What you got there? Uh, well, Mommy got tired of Ryan hugging her, so she gave me 200 bucks to buy him a cat. What you think? It's a nasty cat. You paid 200 bucks for that. He's missing an eye. Oh, is he? Oh, crap. See, now I could have sworn that scab was an eye. Where'd you get that cracked out, Kitty? <laughs> At the pet store. Nanny, please. Okay, the 200 was in cash, and my bookie takes cash, and well, I think we all know how this ends. Yeah. So I just grabbed this one from behind the drugstore down the street. The drug co? Yeah, why? Tess, you never heard of the feral cats of drug co? They live deep in the bowels of the store, and they only come out at night to feast on medications and snacky foods. <laughs> the mix of all the chemicals makes them wild, crazy wild. <laughs> that's what you got there, Tess. You got you a fair cat of drug coat. Oh, come on, that's got to be an urban legend. Mm-mm. No, my friend's brother's cousin who works in an emergency room saw Richard Gere come in all scratched up because one of them feral cats was batting him around like a ball of yarn. I think you're mixing your urban legends, Bowie, because see, Richard Gere... Never mind. Yeah, no, this cat is going to make a great pet. Just look in his, uh... his, his eye. Hey, you're the cute guy. Isn't that cute guy? It's out! Damn it, Tess. You let the thing out. Okay. Obviously, the cat is crashing from the meds, and I've been through this before. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bucket and some towels and a straitjacket about that big. This better be good. Uh, hey, uh, clown? Um, uh, is Nate there? Who's Nate? The guy who's dating Marnie? The blonde? How am I supposed to know where she keeps the can opener? Look, just get Nate this message for me, okay? Tell him not to come in the back way. We have a cat problem. Cat problem, huh? I know a guy. All right. Got it. Thanks, I really appreciate it, all right? Uh, cl cl clown? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. I'm in! You did this, Tess. You brought evil into this house. <laughs> Ow! Be a man. Now, do you want Clifford or Blue's Clues? Clifford. Right. No, 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 Blue's Clues, Blue's Clues. <laughs> Somebody call about a cat. Yeah, thanks for coming, man. I appreciate your asking. I don't get a lot of calls these days. Xandar the Magnificent. Lion Tamer. <laughs> you a lion tamer? Yeah. Well, no, I, I, I used to be. I'm pretty much retired. Now you just call me Walter. <laughs> the Magnificent. Listen, man, we were just talking about a cat. We didn't know that the clown was gonna send us a lion tamer. Yeah, shame on us, really. So let's take a little look-see at our king of the jungle, shall we? Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Well, he's tiny. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit my head in his mouth. This is crazy. Look, I just want that cat out of there. It's your dying. So, uh, you want me to get right to it, or do you want the full... Sender! Uh, that won't be necessary. 
probably for the best. The hernia scar tends to show through the lipra. <laughs> okay, let's do this thing. Whoa, 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 what the hell is that? What do you want me to tame it? This here's the tamer. <laughs> See, I don't know exactly what dosage you use on a cat this size. I just have to kind of guesstimate. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, look, 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 look. I don't want to hurt him. I mean, he's had a tough enough life as it is. Growing up on the streets, you know, watching all the white cats end up on the Friskies box. <laughs> Well, black cats is just bad luck. Yeah. Bowie, this isn't about you. Okay, now this man knows what he's doing. He's a trained circus professional. That's right. I can do this thing the humane way if you want me to, but I mean, if I'm gonna have to perform with an undrugged animal, I mean, that's gonna be like, you're gonna have, it's, it's be more money. He's got it. Okay, uh, wanna give me a drum roll? Welcome to my hell. <laughs> 